हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे आई हैव ब्रॉड यू द नेक्स्ट कोड ऑफ कोड वीटा मॉक टेस्ट वन कॉल्ड कॉन्फ्लिक्ट फ्री टीम वी विल वर्क थ्रू द प्रॉब्लम एंड सोल्यूशन स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो लेट्स जम्प राइट इन so here is our code and these are the libraries that includes to handle input output out stream io streams work with dynamic arrays that is vector manage which is visited elements and use functions like find function and max function This is the back backtrack function, which is responsible for recursively finding the best string combination with the maximum expertise, ensuring no conflicts. This is a flag. Is conflict free? Is set to true, and will be used to check if the current string combination has any conflict. This is the nested loop that checks for conflicts in the current team if any pair of the team members has conflict that is team free flag is set to false and we stop further checks If the team is conflict free we update max expertise with the maximum of the current expertise and the previously recorded maximum expertise This this code now iterates over all the possible team members adds them to the current team if they haven't been visited yet and calls backtrack recursively to try different team combinations after the recursive call the last team member is removed that is pop back and we unmark them as visited for the next combination the solve function takes the number of members n the number of conflicts c and the conflict lists and expertise level of the team members it prepares the graph and starts the backtracking process wait this one This initializes a graph as a 2D vector where graph i holds the conflicting members of team member i we populate this graph using the conflict list Here the max expertise is initialized to store the maximum expertise value found during the backtracking the current team holds the current team members the visit tracks the members the already considered for the team here we started the backtracking process by the calling by calling the backtrack function with the initial values and return the result max expertise at the end in the main function we read the number of team members n and conflict c from input we read the conflicts between team members where each conflict is stored as a pair of conflicts vector
Here we input the expertise level for each of the N team members and store them in the expertise vector. Here we call the solve function to get the maximum expertise of the conflict free team and print the result. So I hope this explanation helped you to understand the solution. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So and leave a comment with your thoughts and questions. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.